What's going on boxing fans? Julian Williams here at the distance. I got a video for you guys. I've actually been trying to upload this video a couple of times. Um, but I'm just gonna put this up now because um for some reason something's messing up on my computer and the whole video is not coming up. So I'm just gonna do this prediction video for you guys and I'm gonna do another one today. Um this one is gonna be for the rematch between Juan Manuel Marquez versus Juan Diaz on July 34 excuse me 31st um, lightweight bout I believe um, rematch from last year's fight of the year um, and this year the only change is that it's going to be on on um, pay-per-view um, I said on another video that this is a fight that should not be on pay-per-view because you got two fighters coming off of losses and really it's, I think that this fight is the beginning of the end for one one of these fighters or both fighters um, really depends but it puts together Juan Manuel Marquez who just came off of a one side loss to Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Juan Diaz who's coming off of practically two straight losses if when you come to think about it because the first fight with Mal Naji you know he he looked like a defeated fighter after the first fight he simply he lost the second fight he to me he lost the first fight he lost to Marquez earlier last year, so really he's coming off of three straight losses, technically. Um, one of the fights was just given to him, and four out of his last, really four out of his last five, he's lost. So now he's kind of at the standstill in his career to where he has to win this fight, or you know his career is practically over. And we all know Juan Diaz has a future outside of boxing, he has a degree and is pretty much prepared for his life um, outside of the sport of boxing so and on the other case Juan Manuel Marquez you know he's much older now he's like 36 37 so this fight is also beneficial for him to win as well so let's get into the fight Juan Diaz is a f type of fighter that comes in he pressures you and he's in your face the whole fight he doesn't have one punch knockout power um, he's more of a volume puncher um, who is able to apply pressure. You know, he's a volume puncher, able to apply pressure, and he can consistently work. So in this fight against D, I mean, excuse me, against Marquez, I th it did kind of remind me of of Benitez Palomino from years ago. Um, Juan Diaz kept getting Marquez on the ropes. Marquez could continue countering. I think somebody, a commentator, made the you know, made um, a phrase about not too long ago. I actually watched the fight before, but anyway, he continue continuously led Marcus into the ropes, and Marcus was able to counter him very well. And it kind of caught up with him later in the fight when, you know, when that when that eye got cut, and Diaz is now you know dealing with scar tissue on that eye. So in this specific fight, he wants to jab a lot more. He wants to pressure Marcus. But he wants to, but he wants to, he wants to be aggressive. But he wants to, this aggression to be smart aggression, tactical aggression. So he needs, what he needs to do is he needs to lead in with that jab and set up his combinations and and pretty much get out. Um, so he so he doesn't get countered as much. Um, and also he does want this to be wants this fight as much close to the ropes as much as possible, because if he can get if you get a counter puncher at the center of the ring. Then the counter puncher is, is basically um, the fighter who who is um, who has you where he wants you. And this fight, Juan Diaz does well when he drives his fighters through the ropes. When he drives fighters through the ropes, you know he needs a jab um, and just consistently um, jab and pressure. Jab set up his combinations. Um, when Marquez you know tries to kind of move away and he tries to move laterally, take that big step over, just continue pressuring, get your shots off first. Um, that's pretty much the way to win this fight. If he can get his shots off first and not pressure him as much as he as he normally does, um, then he could actually win this fight. If he can avoid the the right hand counter, if he can consistently jab, if he can continue to just work, then work and and hit without being hit, and um, get everything off first and get out of the um, and kind of get out of the pocket. The Juan Diaz can very well take this fight. Juan Manuel Marcus wants this fight to be at the center of the ring. 
He wants this to be a center of the ring fight. He doesn't want this fight on the ropes. He doesn't want Juan Diaz to get his shots off. Um, Juan, Juan Manuel Marquez, I think in this fight, I think countering effectively is going to be the key to victory. I think the right-hand counter is going to be his shot. And I think it's going to be there with Juan Diaz, a fighter who throws a lot of punches. And his punches don't necessarily land all the time. And he does go tend to go to the body a lot. And with a fighter who tends to go to the body, it's going to leave up opportunities up top. So Juan Manuel Marquez in this fight does does want to get some hard counter shots off um, in the beginning stages of the fight. Make Juan Diaz think twice before he comes in and, and pressures him. That's primarily what Marquez needs to do. He needs to counter very well. He needs to stay away from the ropes. He wants that at the center of the ring. Because remember, in the first fight, when the fight was in the center of the ring, then... You know, that's when Diaz got um, knocked out when it was center of the ring. And then, you know, and, and uh, Marcus started to find his openings. And, you know, that was the end of the fight. It was the end of, you know, a, a modern-day classic. In this fight, Marcus pretty much needs to fight the same way he did the last fight. But then again, when you think about it, he may want to do something else in this fight. I think we'll, because this is the problem with Juan Diaz. Juan Diaz comes in the fights... And he fights practically the same. Um, I think around this time, when you don't see any change in your fighting style, and you lo- and you lost four out of five, then it's time to change trainers. If you're not, if you want to continue to stay in the sport, and you want to get better, and you want to have better fights, then you want to then and your trainer is telling you to take rounds off in fights that you're practically losing, then you definitely need a new trainer a trainer that can guide you to to the route of victory but I don't think we're going to see any changes from Juan Diaz in this fight so I think that Juan Manuel Marcus could take this fight and he could win it by a knockout this time I think he's going to start to find his openings toward um, the end of this fight, I think this time it's going to be 11th round knockout, that's my prediction but I think he's going to find his openings um, later in the fight when that pressure wears off Ronnie Shields tells Juan Diaz to take a round or two off, and that's when Juan Manuel Marquez is going to start to open up on him. And I think it's going to be an 11th round knockout um, by Juan Manuel Marquez. So, anyway, guys, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.